showing you the quickest way to get ranks, EXP for your combat, survivor, and agility right in this video all together. Isn't that great? But first of all things, I'll be showing you a quick way to get to the, to the place that you will be doing this at. Um, I don't know, I personally think it's quick because you cut right through the mountain and other than climbing around shit, maybe walking around it, running around it, whatever, you just walk right through it or swim through it. You see, this is where it is, all the way on the right side. You just cut through that little gap right there. And you're probably gonna say, well, it's not really that hard to climb through or walk through anyways. Why even bother with this? Well, that's your own personal opinion. I do this because I find it really quick for me. <laughs> oh, man, my nose. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I get enough of that. But here we are at the, at the fisherman village and the bar. This is clearly where we were trying to go the entire time, obviously. Now open up, you bartender! I need alcohol in my system. <laughs> well, guess not. So here we are at the village. Great! Yay! Next clip. This is the place in the daylight to show you guys. The Edward Ridge, yay! This is where you need to go, you know? I don't want to show you guys at night because it's freaking dark as shit and I'm afraid you guys won't see it. But here's that clip of uh, what it looks like. First first method of the two method or two methods of agility or getting agility. First method, get on top of the bridge. Easy. <laughs> and now you're going to need the skill vault. If you don't know what vault is, it lets you jump over zombies or walk over zombies while you run around um, you're gonna need this you're really gonna need this when you're trying to do the first method of um, the two method of agility but this place keeps you safe um, the UV lights keep off the Voltaires and the rushing zombies I don't know what they're called um, just run around, just jump over them. You're gonna need a couple med kits, maybe 10 each time you go up here, maybe. And you're lucky you don't need them at all. And yeah. And combat right here. One, two, three. Easy as shit. Kill shit. One. Bridge. Two. Weapon. Three. Kill shit. Kill all the fucking things in your sight. You can do this anywhere. No fucking problem. And you see that shit? And I'm just racking in the pool. Oh yeah. Now, this clip. I will be showing you all the police vans and med kits that there is. There's about five police vans, maybe, and uh, one, one med kit van up on the bridge. You're probably going to be doing the first method until morning. So, this is a perfect chance to loot it until the ground. You know, why not? Now. This gives me a chance to talk about survivor rank. Okay, now about survivor rank. I'm not gonna really show you, just tell you, because it's not really that hard to understand. Um, do side missions, obviously. Do challenges and get packages. Packages arrive probably every 15 minutes or so. Maybe at most. Um, and some some airdrops are even scattered around the map. They're just not labeled, not discovered. But yeah. And another thing you could do, but I'm not really gonna show you guys, is you could join, go join someone really quick, and then come back. Um, after you, okay, so let me explain it. <laughs> it's really hard to understand, I guess. You got all you gotta do is once air drop drops down, that's you. Once you arrive, get everything and join another game, some some random online game. 
their their uh, little thing join them and back out and um, the airdrop should arrive again at the same at the same time as you go back into your world I, I don't know I personally find it kind of like kind of like a waste of time because I'm just doing that nothing else you know um, you can get survivor rank so easily so if you really want it that desperately at early state of the game then go for it but other than that you can just do side missions um, challenges and packages you get along the way of the story plus even if you don't get it by the end of the game you gonna you can probably get, you're probably gonna play this again <laughs> just for the fun of it because who doesn't love to kill zombies and slash them up and shit but yeah now we have covered the combat survivor and the one the first method of the agility the second method i'll be showing you shortly after this clip of me throwing shit <laughs> collecting shit and yeah god damn it playstation don't listen to me <laughs> well, that goes on a lot of times. I don't know why. But yeah, that's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Combat, easy. Go anywhere, kill everything. You're gonna kill things either way, just cause it's fun. <laughs> Who didn't come to this game just for fun? If you didn't come to this game just for fun, you are a total joy kill. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys are awesome. But, yep. And here we are under the bridge. Might as well jump off, right? And here it is at night. You're gonna need the agility skill tic tac. If you don't know what it does, it lets you climb walls. And this requirement, or the requirement to get tic tac, is a level 13 agility. That's what the first method is for. But just follow what I do. Just climb it with the tic tac skill and back step into the water so you can hit that little um second climb thing i have no idea what it's called but yeah just keep doing what i'm doing it's not re it's not really hard to get the hang of it but you get a hundred to two hundred every time but that's it guys any questions comment below